and we've been doing everything today bowling we just got a whole bunch of chicken parmesan meatball parmesan pizza so it's like kind of a family friend day and didn't get a chance to do a live i'm trying to sneak one in really quick um you know really what my goal is is that i want to get a lot of people to come to the live stream that's what i'm trying to do and you know i know it's a work in progress i know it's not something that's going to happen overnight but i feel like the more people that come to the live stream of course you're going to have your haters you're going to have your you know naysayers the people who just think you're a psycho who don't believe in you but eventually in time you're going to get people who hear you okay and who understand what you're saying understand your message understand your vision and understand your goal so i just got to keep doing this i got to keep doing this until i get a lot of people to come to the live stream look this is my vision all right i know for the people who have already heard this what's up nun how you doing i know for the people who are, who have already heard this this is very redundant it's probably boring but I have to I have to continue to stay on the same message. You understand? Because there's going to be a lot of people who haven't heard this message before. And I have to say the same things over and over again. Because when it's a new person, well, they got to know what I'm talking about, right? For the people who already heard it, I'm sorry if it's boring. But I got to keep on the same message. Look, casinos are where the money is. In Macau, the money that is coming in in casinos is insane. I mean, it is so, it's bigger. A lot of people don't know this, that China is bigger than Las Vegas in terms of game, gaming. People don't know this. Okay, Macau is making billions and billions and billions more than Las Vegas. Now, I'm not saying to you that I don't love Las Vegas because Las Vegas is definitely in my heart and my soul. But honestly, I think the first project should be in Macau. I think Macau, then Vegas, okay? And the thing is, what you what you all don't understand is this is a very reasonable project to do if we get enough people in these live streams. Now, people don't understand. Let me explain to you the steps that are involved. The first project is kind of like what's called a prototype. I'm not offering a solicitation for an investment. I'm not offering anybody an interest in the project. What I'm asking is to, to kind of like make me your leader say you know what a father i trust you i believe in you i love you you're the best entertainer in the world and i am going to put my faith in you so in other words the super chat that i'm asking for the super chat that you give me is to help me finance the first actual project now what happens because a lot of people don't understand this they think there's nothing in it for them you're wrong because once the project is built, you don't understand. I have something real. I have something tangible. Now I could put together a prospectus, a business plan. I could hire a top securities firm. I could register everything with the SEC to put together an offering. But now don't you see it? It, it's, it becomes real. You now have something that you could really judge, judge this on in terms of making an educated you know, decision. Like, do I want to get involved with this? You see, right now it's all theory. Right now it's all conversation. So what I'm trying to do is make it real. And what is a super chat anyway? Five dollars, two dollars, it's nothing. It's nothing. What's up, Back to the Future? John, listen, you don't understand. You know what's crazy, John Bitten? And I'll get to Antonio Miranda, Miranda in a second. John, do you want to know what's crazy? And I know you're not going to have an open mind. We gave hedge funds, listen to me, John, this is crazy, $350 billion retail lost in 2022. So I just want you to understand this, John. Look, I know you're not really smart with math. You've been working for 50 years. You're not a millionaire. I get all of this. But just I want you to try to understand this. We wasted and gave away $350 billion dollars. In other words, just to enrich the hedge funds, just to enrich Ken Griffin, that money is is worthless now. It's gone forever. Do you have any idea how many casinos could have been built for $350 billion? <laughs> we would have a dynasty, John, listen to me. We would have an empire worldwide. But you see, for some reason, your brain can't comprehend that. Your brain feels that it's okay, like you have absolutely no problem. Let me tell you the mindset of John Bitten. 
John Bitten has absolutely no problem that retail lost $350 billion and just enriched hedge funds, enriched Citadel, enriched Ken Griffin. He thinks that's great. He, he doesn't think there's anything wrong with that whatsoever. <laughs> Forget about the AMC movement, John. It's just the point, it's the principle that retail is putting money in an industry that's rigged. And this is what you're not understanding because you're an idiot. You understand? Retail is putting money into the stock market and it's rigged. And all that's happening is that Ken Griffin, Citadel, and hedge funds keep getting richer and richer and richer. That's all that's happening. And the proof is in the pudding. Listen, you don't have to take my word for it. Do your own research. I got my kids here. That's why I can't do this too long. Do your own research. Listen to me. Look up how much money Citadel made in 2022. You're going to notice they made $16 billion. Look at how much money retail lost in 2022. They lost $350 billion. And all I'm, this is my only point. My only point is this. Do you want to lose money? Like, I'm just trying to understand this. Do you just willingly want to give away your money? Do, do you want to lose it? Because $350 billion dollars could have been a casino empire it could have been a dynasty like literally we would have to see i would have casinos in macau las vegas atlantics all around the friggin' world london england singapore <laughs> you we, we were a dynasty i love back to the future god bless you brother i love you god bless you but john again you see you know what you're doing john i love you back to the future god bless you brother i love you John, what you're trying to do is you're trying to deflect. Okay, listen to me. The deflection is a father go open a hot dog stand, a father go up, open a restaurant. You're trying to deflect. Okay, you're, you're trying to deflect what the reality is. The reality is that $350 billion was lost, squandered, squandered. You understand? Squandered, lost. Okay, so what you're trying to do is you're just trying to deflect from that. You're like, you're like, let's not worry about that, Ape Father. Let's worry about you go open a hot dog stand. You're trying to deflect, okay? And I'm trying to explain to you that how terrible is it that $350 billion went to hedge funds pockets from our money? You know, we always used to talk about the biggest, the biggest transfer of wealth, right? Was Isn't that what we were talking about? The biggest transfer of wealth apparently went from retail to the hedge funds, to the corrupt 1%, okay? And everybody seems to be okay with it. It's like all these people here are okay. You're all fine with it. You're like, I'm fine with that. So if you're fine with it, give your effing money to Ken Griffin. This is what you do, listen to me. Forget about, forget about you know, researching for plays. Just write a check out directly to Citadel. For whatever, whatever the money is that you want to lose, okay? Write it out, 10000 Make it payable to Citadel. Send it directly to the company. Because you're a bunch of morons, okay? We could have had a dynasty. We could have had an empire of casinos that spanned throughout the whole world. Online. Let's, let's, okay. Do you at least agree that if that $350 billion that was lost to the hedge funds went into casinos, went into online casinos, do you agree that we would be in tremendous shape right now? Like we would be friggin' King effing Kong. Wow! We would be King Kong. We would be Godzilla. But instead, you know what you all did? You flushed $350 billion down the toilet. And I'm in the same, listen to me, I'm not saying I'm different. I flushed two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars down the toilet. But the difference between me and all of you is I've learned from my mistakes. You all haven't learned from your mistakes yet. You all want to continue to repeat the same mistakes. You want to put your money right back into this corrupt stock market. You want to put your money right back into the hedge funds pockets, and you want to lose another three hundred and fifty billion dollars. This is what the, this is what all of you mama loops and all of you students, with the exception of Back to the Future and Angie. I love Angie. I can't dance. I just ate so much food, I'd shit my pants, Angie, if I danced right now. Forget about the short squeeze. You know the short squeeze, Carlos? The short squeeze is that the hedge funds took all our money. There's no Moaz. Listen, listen to me. We've been played. Don't you understand? Listen to me. I fell for it, too. Look, I fell for it, too. There's going to be no Moaz. Forget about, don't even talk about Moaz. Don't talk about short squeeze. It's never going to happen. I believe, you want to know what I believe? 
Adam Aaron hired, listen to me, Trey, he hired Matt Kors, okay, possibly some other YouTubers, I'll make you figure out who, and they put together this whole concept, and, they, and it was perfect timing, because they did all of this during GameStop, where GameStop shot to over, like, you know, close to 500, you know, the, the Deutsche coin, with Elon Musk, if I say it wrong, I apologize, when that thing went up to almost a dollar, okay, when he was on Saturday Night Live, Elon Musk, it was it's like perfect timing. Everybody started believing, you know, we're gonna make millions, we're gonna make life-changing wealth, and everybody poured their money into the stock market. It was a bloodbath. Listen to A Father, it was a bloodbath. It was like the Valentine's Day massacre, okay? It was a bloodbath, okay? And I believe this was all preordained, I can't prove it, I have to say it's alleged, but I believe that this was all planned and manipulated. This was all one big plan to get our money. But the problem is, is that all of you are so brainwashed that you can't even see it's over. It's over. There's no, listen, we're lucky at this point if AMC even gets the $10 or $15 a share at this point. I mean, let's be realistic. We're lucky if AMC gets the 20. This concept is going to be a Moaz, your own nuts. Look, and I'm not trying to be a shill. I know what you're, all you, you're going to say. You're a shill. You're FUD. Guys, I put my money into this play, too. I put my money into this play, too. I was the biggest cheerleader for AMC that you could possibly be. But listen, you got to face the facts. You know what it is with me? I guess the difference is, is I'm looking at the scoreboard. You're not looking at the scoreboard. See, you're, you're all living in some kind of Peter Pan you know, delusional friggin', you know, like friggin' dream right now. I'm looking at the scoreboard. Here's the scoreboard, okay? We lost 350 billion, Citadel made 16 billion. Among, and that's just one hedge fund, okay? You know, you gotta figure the whole 350 billion was made from all different hedge funds, short sellers, forget about it. Forget about it, okay? So you're not looking at the scoreboard and you're all still going on with this concept. There's gonna be a Boaz, guys. Girls, it's over. We lost. But now here's the question. Okay, it, we lost, but do we want to continue losing? See, now that's the question. Do we want to continue losing or do we want to start winning? Which is why I call my project V for Victory. See, my project is about winning. My project is about getting rid of Ken Griffin, getting rid of Gary Gensler, getting rid, in, get, getting rid of Adam Enron, okay? Getting rid of all these people, and we run the show, okay? And I'm picking the world's largest, most profitable industry, which is the casino industry. And it's also the real estate industry, which is solid as an effing rock, okay? So that's what I'm doing. But all of you, you seem to be stuck on this, this concept. Oh, you know, the Moaz is still gonna have, guys, we've been played like friggin' Liberace on the, on the piano. Wake up, smell the coffee. But look, look, if it's any consolation to you, I know how, I know it hurts to lose money. L look, I remember, what, let me tell you a quick story. There was a guy one time, I was at the Tropicana. He's a very good friend of mine. And you know, he, he's a degenerate gambler, okay? I mean, this guy, he had to go for help. The guy had to go for help. He gambled like a friggin' uh, a, a complete psycho. So, you know, he lost $5,000, okay. We, we go back to the casino a week later. He's a friend of mine. He goes, Rich, I'm gonna get back my money. The guy gets back like 40, I'm not even kidding you, $4,900, I always tell this story. He was $100 short from breaking even, but he couldn't stop gambling because he had to get it to the exact level. He had to get it to that $5,000 level. So he's like, I'm gonna keep playing until I get that other 100. Well, winds up, he loses all his money again. This is the thing, this is how old you are. You're chasing a dream. Listen to, listen to the ape father. You're chasing a dream. You're like, I lost $10,000 at AMC, so I'm gonna keep playing the game until I get my money back. Okay, and maybe you get lucky on one stock and you make 3,000 and you make five, but it's not enough because you're like, I want to get back all my AMC money. But but listen to me. Do you want to know how the dream turned out for my friend? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the final ending of the story. He was chasing that $5,000 for so long. 
he winded up losing $150,000 because he kept chasing that dream. He kept chasing, I want to get my money back. I want to get, so so the 5,000, which he, he lost, ultimately turned into him losing 150,000. That's what's gonna happen to all of you because you're chasing a dream in the stock market that's never gonna come true. The stock market is run by Ken Griffin. The stock market is run by the hedge fund. It is run by the corrupt 1%. The only way out, the only chance you have is to have our own thing. Don't you understand that? We have to have our own thing where there is no Ken Griffin, where there is no Gary Gensler, where there is no Adam Aaron. That's what I'm trying to make all of you understand, but it's all hate. Most I lost is 1,000. Well, Carlos, you're one person. I can tell you a lot of people who lost more than $1,000. The one and only eight father in the house, I love Back to the Future. Lou is an idiot, listen to me. Lou is an idiot. Lou only cares about Add revenue. That's all he cares about. Lou's, listen to me. By the time my first casino was built, Lou's still going to be talking about XRP and he's still going to be talking about AMC. Lou is interested in one thing and one thing only, add revenue from YouTube. So Lou's got to keep telling you, listen to me, it's very, very highly unlikely that AMC is even going to go to $20 a share. Okay? Because let me know what the reality is. Listen to me. AMC is living off borrowed time. You know what I mean? Listen to me. You know and I know that Adam Aaron could, could basically sell up to, what, 390 million shares. He already sold 40 million shares. So the guy is living off blood of the retail. He's living off our blood. Don't you understand? He, the only reason why Adam Aaron and AMC is still alive is because we're giving him a blood transfusion. He's living off dilution. That's it. He's not living off the credits and the merits of AMC as a corporation. He's living off our blood. So that's why AMC has no chance of really going up because people know this. Investors know this. Me. Investors know, smart investors at least, not dumb money, okay? People with actual with an actual brain, with actual, with actual like intelligence, realize that AMC is living off retail's blood. So it's never gonna go up because people are not gonna want to invest in it anymore. Don't you understand that? Hold on. Yeah, I just need five minutes, okay? Come right back out, and then we'll go. Okay. I'm sorry, give me five minutes, that's all. Just hang out inside. Stop hating him, people. No, Stop. it's a, <laughs> Say, a father in the house. A father's in the house. Go, wow, wow! <laughs> Thanks, William. I'll be five minutes. So anyway, listen to me. Look, see, it's people like Vladimir, like uh, Pussin, Jordan, all these people that, they're, they're so focused on hate. This is what it is. And that's why these people, there's no hope for these people. You just got to ignore them. I got to get new people in these live streams. They're not focused on what's actually happening. What's actually happening is that retail is being played like a fool. Everybody plays the fool. It's no exception to the rule. You're all being played. But instead of like waking up and instead of saying, I don't want to be played no more, it's like you continue this friggin' shit. So that's why I realized I got to get new people. Unfortunately, these people like Vladimir Putin said they're finished. He, th this is what's called a hater for life. He's a hater for, like I'll have the casino built and he'll still be hating. This is a guy you can't convince him. You can't change his mind. He will never see the light. He is just a hater. Jordan is a hater. Blake 911 is a hater. These are all haters. Yeah, I have currently 12.4 subs, yes. Okay, but there are certain people that you can't change their mind. And I understand that. It's like life. Look, it's like you go up to a girl, you understand, and, and you try to pick her up. For whatever the reason is, she's not attracted to you. She goes, get away from me, fat man. She doesn't want nothing to do with you. But you know what? Then, then you meet another girl, and she is attracted to you. Look, some people don't like the ape father. Some people hate me. They don't believe in me. I mean, I don't know why, because I didn't do nothing to them, but listen, the bottom line is they hate me. I accept that. But then there's other people like Back to the Future who love me. So you got to find people like Back to the Future. And the more and more live streams I do, and the more and more videos I do, my subs are going higher, and eventually I'm going to get a bigger audience. It's going to take time. It's going to take time. But I'm just going to keep preaching the same message, you know? 
It, my advice to you is this. If, if you don't want to hear it no more, don't come to the live stream. I mean, it's very simple. It's like, I get all these haters. They say to me, hey, Father, I don't want to hear this no more. They don't come to the live stream. Look, I don't see the point anymore in talking about stocks because, look, stocks is Ken Griffin's world. That's it. And we've already lost enough money with stocks. So I don't see the point anymore. I just don't have the heart. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't have the heart to talk about stocks anymore. I don't have the heart to talk about AMC. Look, once in a while I'll make a video. I, I will, look, I'll make a video on, like for instance, I've been making videos that I feel AMC has become a day trader's dream uh, cream play. Like actually, if you want to make money, you know how a Father was always about buying and holding? No more. <laughs> no more. It's a new day and it's a new age. AMC to me, look, I feel like it's become the perfect scalp play. Again, don't listen to me. I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. Do you want to know why I feel AMC is the greatest day trading play in the whole world right now? Like literally, you could probably make a fortune in AMC day trading. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because the real investors know AMC is going nowhere. It's finished. It's living off the, the blood of retail. But at the same time, they know that AMC has enough money in the vault because they're because of the dilution, they have enough money to avoid bankruptcy. So what do you what do you have when you have a company that has enough money to avoid bankruptcy, okay? But at the same time has no future. You have what's called the day trading play. That's the day trading dream play. So for the next several months, I see AMC going like eight bucks, maybe touches it to nine. It's possible it could touch it to ten. Okay, but eventually it's going to go right back down to the seven range and it's just going to keep repeating this over and over and over again. So if you're actually smart, you could day trade AMC right now, probably make a fortune over. You could probably make a fortune over the next six to several months. Am I telling you to do that? No, because I am not a financial planner and I don't give financial advice. So don't listen to me. This is just subject to my opinion. I feel AMC is an amazing day trade play. But as far as this concept of buying and holding for the Moaz, you might as well, uh, you know, sniff a line of freaking cocaine because it's not going to happen. <laughs> Hold on. And again, I'm not a financial planner. Guys, I don't even know why you come here the, the day it is. It's like, I just think you get, you get some sort of enjoyment. You get some sort of entertainment out of hating. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what your, uh, you know, what your, what your purpose of coming here is for. Listen, John, let me ask you a question. Did you even invest in AMC? I'm just curious, John Bain. Did you even, seriously, I'm asking you a straight out question. Did you even invest in AMC? Did you lose any money? Because you talk like someone that didn't even lose a penny. You talk like, you're most likely someone who never even invested in AMC. Most of you people probably never even invested in AMC. I come to get a good laugh. Look, it helps me out. Guys, even if you're not giving me super chats, if if you come here, you're helping me. Okay, so keep watching my live streams. Listen to me. If I make you laugh, God bless. Keep keep watching my live. It, it all helps me in the end. <laughs> but John, if you're down, and it's true, okay, I love you, Back to the Future. If you're down, aren't you angry? Like, I don't know. Or, like, do you feel that the stock market is fair, John? Do you, feel that, do you feel that Ken Griffin won fair? I'm just curious. Like, do you do you all feel that this was like, like we just all lost, it was a fair ball game? Listen, anyone with a brain knows that this was not fair. Anyone with a brain knows that we've been scammed. That's the scam. You know how you're calling me the scam? The true scam is what Ken Griffin, Adam Aaron, Gary Gensler and all of these people did. That's the true scam. And it's going to probably come out one day. One day, Ken Griffith is going to be worse off than Bernie Madoff. See, you don't realize that Bernie Madoff at one time, he was the chairman of NASDAQ, Bernie Madoff. Bernie Madoff was the most respected person at Wall Street. No one in a million years, the SEC used to laugh at people that used to say he was running a, a Ponzi scheme. People used to go to the SEC. They're like, you know, there's something wrong with Bernie Madoff and his books. And the SEC laughed at him. The guy was the most respected guy at Wall Street. And I, I predict that in time, Ken Griffin is going to be even worse off when we find out what's going on with Citadel Connects books. He's going to be even worse off than Bernie Madoff. 
I just said that WTF. WTF 198. I just said that I feel Adam Aaron, I don't know if you heard me, hired Trey, okay, hired Matt Cause, Matt the Weasel, and, and put together this whole concept of a Moaz. And, and guess who made this video first, WTF? Me. I made this video called AMC is a scam like almost two years ago. And I lost thousands and thousands of subscribers. I called out Adam Aaron a long time ago, and thank God I did, because I made certain things in my life much better when I found out that this whole thing was a effing scam, okay? So thank God I found out, okay? But I called out Adam Aaron way before Lou, way before anyone. These are the facts. I know you don't want to accept it. I called out Adam Aaron way before Lou. Okay, and, and, and now I'm saying something else to you, and I'm the first. There's nobody else probably on YouTube that's talking about casinos except me, right? Let's let's be honest. Lou is talking about XRP. Lou's talking about uh, Stella. Lou's talking about cryptocurrencies. Lou's talking about OTC plays. Uh, I'm the only person on YouTube that's talking about casinos. And you want to know why? Because that's where the real money is. You know what I'm saying? See, I could just be like every other YouTuber right now. You know what I could do? I could be like every other YouTuber and I could just pitch you uh friggin' uh, you know, Ripple. I could pitch you an you know, pink sheet play. I could do that, okay? But I'm not going to because in my heart, I know where the real money is. The real money is in online casinos. The real money is in sports betting and the real money is in casinos. That's the money. And it's not just in America. It's worldwide, specifically Macau in China. The money that they're making in that friggin' Macau, you could build a palace, listen to me. You could build a palace with $100 bills. Now the problem is if all of you could just have this, I, I just don't understand why I can't reach you. Like do the research, go online and, and do the research on how much like these friggin' casinos are making and you're gonna faint. It's making more money in Macau than Las Vegas. Do research on how much money online casinos are making. Do 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 your homework on DraftKings. Do, do your homework on sports betting. This is where the money is. I just don't understand why we all can't get organized. This I don't understand. We, co we, we all can't get organized and we go where the money is. Why are we wasting our time with stocks? that are controlled by Ken Griffin, that are controlled by Gary Gensler, why are we wasting our time? Casinos are a dying business, bro, you're an idiot. I love you, young Kuda, you're an idiot. Bro, bro, this guy, this guy has the brains of a pigeon, this guy Vladimir Pussy. Do you understand how much money online casinos are making that you're making, that you're saying it's a dying business? It's reaching $100 billion this year. Vladimir Pussy, just go home and get your shine box. You know what's a dying business? The stock market, you effing idiot. You know what's a dying business? Investing in the stock market. Okay, we lost 350 billion, you stupid, uneducated, low IQ mother effer. We lost 350 billion. He's saying casinos are a dying business. Online casinos are topping 100 billion this year. You're an idiot. You have the brains of a pigeon. A pigeon has more brains than you, Vladimir Pussy. Guys, listen, listen to what this guy is saying. Stock market is near its all-time highs. This, this, look, listen to me. This is either a person, Vladimir Pussy, who works for Ken Griffin. Look, this I'm telling you, if you don't think that Ken Griffin has people on the payroll that come to people's channels like mine, you're nuts. Trust me when I tell you, Ken Griffin has people on the payroll because you see, you have to understand something. I am a threat. I know you don't believe this. I know you don't believe this, but I am a threat to Ken Griffin because you know what he says to himself? Hey, there's a chance that this guy might eventually convince enough people to stop investing in the stock market and go into the casino industry, and that hurts Ken Griffin. 
Don't you understand? That hurts his pockets. He wants all of you to keep investing in the stock market. He wants all of you to keep investing with your Robinhood accounts and your Webull accounts and your TD America and your E-Trade accounts because they're all payment for order flow platforms. Every time you buy stock, he makes money. Every time you sell stock, he makes money. So what he does is he pays these people like Vladimir Pussin. He pays the minimum wage to come onto my channel and to just praise the stock market and to praise Ken Griffin and to and to do anything I say. If I said I wanted to be a farmer and I said to you I wanted to friggin' milk cows, you know, these people who work for Ken Griffin would say that the farming business is finished. Milking cows is a dead industry. So in other words, it's their job to downplay anything I say. But anybody who has a brain and actually could read knows that the especially the online casino business is at record highs 100 billion plus okay so listen this isn't something you have to be a rocket scientist okay anybody knows casinos are a cash generating machine unfortunately there's just a lot of haters here and like i said uh when there's a lot of haters i gotta end the live stream you know, we got to get more people like Back to the Future in these live streams. There's just too many haters here. There's just people who come here for a laugh. Hey, here's a good person, uh, Ozzy Pilot. I love you, brother. You're the best, too. You're the best, too. Look, it's very simple. Help me get this first project off the ground, and I will prove all these haters wrong. That's it. That's it. Help me, help me with a small super chats. Help me get my first project off the ground and all of these haters will be crying with their friggin' tails between their legs. They'll be crying when they see how much money the A-Father is making. You'll be crying. You'll be in tears, okay? Because you will never, ever serve it. Let me, you want to laugh? I'm going to make all of you laugh. All I do, listen to me, are you ready? Is complete one single project. Just one single project. That's all I need to complete. And I will surpass every single person in this live stream. You will never, ever have more money than me. You will never, ever catch up to me. And, and it's just one project. It's just one project. Could you imagine two projects, three projects, four pro You guys, I'll leave you in the dust. It will be like that song, Dust in the Wind, okay? So look, you could all hate all you want. I just need to complete one single project and every single hater will be on my jock. You'll be on my jocks, okay? You will be, you'll be dying to wipe the sweat off my balls. The sweat off my balls will be worth more than your friggin' life savings. Just the sweat off my friggin' balls. WTF 198, I could do it. Just watch, watch me work, watch me work. Okay, you're gonna, I'm gonna shock you. You're gonna see in a very short period of time, it's not gonna be that long, WTF, listen to me. In a very short period of time, I am gonna have so many videos uploaded. I am gonna build my live stream audience and I am going to show you something that you have never believed could be possible. You're all gonna see it, all of you haters. I am gonna shock all of you. All of you haters that think I'm a psychopath, all of you haters that think I'm out of my effing mind, I am going to prove all of you wrong. I've been down this road many times in my life where people told me I couldn't do things. Like I told you the story. I had a small little apartment in Staten Island and my, my wife's father, God bless him, he's not doing too well. He had, a, he had a heart problem, God bless him. He's in the hospital right now. Let me just take a minute to, to, to make a quick prayer for my wife's father. I wish him all the best of health, happiness, and success. But, you know, he had a he had a health emergency. He's in the hospital. God bless him. My prayers are with him. But he said to me one time, he said, Richie, we were living in a small apartment in Staten Island. You're not going to be able. I was telling him, I said, I said, I have a dream. I'm going to get a house. I'm going to, you know, have I'm going to have a pool for the kids. He says it's never going to happen. This is my wife's father, Jim. He says, it's never going to happen. You're a dreamer. You're nuts. When he saw what I accomplished, my house is, was bigger than his house. My house is worth more than his house. He goes, I don't know how you did it, he told me. I don't know how you, but you did it. You effing did it, he told me. And I am telling all of you haters, I am going to do something that none of you could do. I am gonna do something 
that no one in the world could do, except for maybe Donald Trump. <laughs> I'm going to do something that the only people who could do it, Donald Trump, Steve Wynn, okay, Sheldon Elderson, these are the people I'm going to be able to do things that they're doing. Elon Musk, okay, I am going to do tremendous projects. The only question is, do you want to take a piggyback ride with me on the V for Victory train? Do you want to take a piggyback ride on the gold-plated road? Or do you want to continue to stay on the Ken Griffin's friggin' suck his balls road? Because that's the road you're all on right now. You're on the Ken Griffin suck his balls road. You want to stay in that road, it's up to you. I'm not staying on that road. You could stay on that road. Listen, you don't know what I'm doing with AMC, okay, Anthony? None of you know because I don't tell you. But let's just say I'm okay, all right? Thank you, uh, Back to the Future 99. God bless you and your family. Lou can't even destroy a squirrel, Tommy. Look, WTF, get all your laughs in now. Listen to me. Get, get all your laughs in now because in a very, very short period of time, I'm going to be like worldwide news. Listen to me. Brother, you're going to be in shock. WTF is going to be in utter shock that he's going to see that I'm going to become a household name. I am going to be like a Donald Trump. Who knows? Maybe I'll be the president one day. I am going to do so many projects that you're not going to believe it. I want to be, you want to know what I want to be? I want to be the king of retail. But you see, the problem with retail is that you're all dreamers. You're, you're the ones, the problem is retail belongs in the straitjacket. You want me to tell you the truth? It's not me. You all think I'm nuts. See, all of you think I belong in Bellevue. I belong on Thorazine. I belong in the straitjacket. You're the ones who belong in the straitjacket because you're living on a dream. You're living on a dream. This whole thing was a scam. Don't you understand? This whole thing was planned. AMC to Pluto. Look, I fell for it too. I'm not, listen to me. I'm not trying to make you understand that you're the only idiots. I'm the idiot. I am an effing idiot. Look, I fell for it. And I lost hundreds and hundreds of thousands. But listen, hundreds of thousands is not a lot of money. Can, can we all be honest with each other? Think about Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson at one time was worth $400 million. He lost $400 million. Look, remember MC Hammer? He lost like $30 million in one year. To make up $200,000 is not that big of a deal. It, it really isn't. And, and, and anybody who's crying over that is a loser. All right, look, to make up a couple of hundred thousand, I will do it. It's not a problem. It's not like I lost. Look, if I lost $100 million or something at AMC, I would be friggin' flipping out. You know, I would be going crazy. To lose a couple of hundred grand, no big deal. No big deal. I make it, I make it back times a thousand mother -uffers. I'm not worried about it. But the thing is, you got to smarten up. The problem is none of you are smarting up. You're still doing the same stupid ass shit. You got to smarten up. But anyway, listen, let me get going here because I got the kids. We're probably going to do something else now. Have a little bit more fun. Um, you know, I love you back to the future. I think you're the only one here besides you and Angie and also uh, Aussie Pilot. I love all of you. All of you are haters, you know, Bafangul, but V for victory. All right. Everything I said on this live stream is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. Super chats are for entertainment purposes only. There is no solicitation for any investment going on. Everything is entertainment purposes only. God bless. I love you, Benjamin.